September 26. 33. Saint Stephen is said to have been stoned this day, Paul consenting. 329. Constantinople founded. About the same day that Solomon dedicated his temple at Jerusalem, 1005 B. C. 1087, William II, surname Rufus, proclaimed and crowned King of England. 1415, Harfleur, a town in France, surrendered unconditionally to Henry V of England, after a siege of five weeks and their defenses had been demolished. 1417. Francis Zabarella, an Italian cardinal, died, noted for his great learning and virtues. 1534. Clement VII Julius de Medici's Pope, died. It was in consequence of his refusing to ratify the acts of Henry VIII, and the issuing of a bull of excommunication against that monarch, that England was separated from the Roman Church. 1635. Adrian Metius died. A learned Dutch mathematician and author. 1722. William Massioy died. A French writer, much admired, who after becoming blind met his death by a stroke of apoplexy. 1747. The leaden coffin of the noted drive Sacheverell, and Sally Salisbury, with 150 others, stolen from the church. 1766. The dividends on East India stock advanced in England from 6 to 10 percent, in consequence of the success of Lord Clive. 1776. Congress appointed Benj. Franklin. Silas Dean and Thomas Jefferson, commissioners to the Court of France. They were the first persons appointed by the United States to act in the capacity of ministers plenipotentiary, but as the country had not yet been acknowledged by any power, they were designated by the humble title of commissioners. 1777. The British Army under Lord Howe entered Philadelphia. Washington's army lay at Skipack Creek, 18 miles distant from the city. 1780. The advance of Cornwallis' army, consisting of Tarleton's Legion, engaged the Americans at Charlotte Courthouse, under Col. Davis. 1789. Edmund Randolph commissioned the first Attorney General of the United States. 1799. Zurich, in Switzerland, taken by the French under Mazzena, and Levater, while occupied in the streets assisting the distressed, received a shot in the side. Of which he ultimately died. January 2nd. 1811. A well 400 feet deep and 5 in diameter, exhibiting a fine specimen of ancient masonry, was discovered in the keep at Dover Castle. 1812. George Frederick Cook, an eminent English tragedian, died at New York, aged 57. 1812. The Russian army under Essen, entered Miltau, the French and Prussians under MacDonald, having previously evacuated it, leaving behind a vast quantity of provisions, and the whole mass of palaces, which were the sum of the requisition upon Kurland and of vast importance to an army in so cold a region. 1813. Privateer schooner Saratoga, of New York, 10 guns and 116 men, captured by boarding, British packet ship Morgana, 18 guns, 50 men, off Suriname. 1814. American privateer brig, Jin Armstrong, attacked in Fayal Roads a neutral port, by the boats of three British ships. They were twice beaten off and several of the boats sunk. Captain Reed was obliged to scuttle his vessel, and the British commander threatened to burn the town if she was not delivered up. Two killed, seven wounded. British loss, 
120 killed, 130 wounded. 1815. Treaty of Peace and Alliance signed at Paris between the Emperors of Austria, Russia and Prussia. 1822. John Owen, an eminent English divine, died. He was one of the originators of the British Foreign Bible Society, to whose establishment and extension he devoted his life with the greatest zeal. 1828. A monument erected at Charlestown, Massachusetts, to the memory of John Harvard, founder of Harvard College, 190 years after his death. 15 feet high and 4 feet square at the bottom, the expense of which was defrayed by a contribution of $1 from each of the graduates of the college. 1828. John G. C. Brainerd, an American poet of considerable note, died, aged 32. 1842. Richard Riker, for many years recorder of the city of New York, died, aged 69. He was a gentleman of the old school, and much respected. 1847. The valuable library of the Royal Society of Icelandic Literature in Copenhagen was destroyed by fire. More than 2,000 unpublished manuscripts were consumed. 1854. The French police organized at Paris on the plan of that of London. The number to be 2,900, to do duty day and night, under charge of two commissioners. At an annual cost of about $1,200,000. 1855. The cornerstone of the Masonic Hall laid in Philadelphia with ceremony, over 4,000 Masons marching in procession.